Hello, my name is Chris Newcomer, and this is... I'm Elizabeth Delarova. And we're here to talk to you about Ticket Sign Up 101. We view ourselves in partnership with our customers. We're successful when you're all successful. Our job is to basically build technology that all of our customers can benefit from. So Ticket Sign Up is great for simple, complex, and multi-day events. You can include custom questions, waivers, and notifications. Include your refund policy and chargeback management. We've got great tools for that. You can sell your merch through our store, including t-shirts, swag, whatever you've got to offer. We've got a great photo platform to show those great images from the events that you put on. We've got great self-serve ticket management for attendees and directors. So if you've got a huge multi-day event, that you want to give people the ability to change their ticket, you can do that as well. We have an incredible mobile check-in app. And if you're selling free tickets, those free tickets are always free. We also have a free website and marketing all built into that free website you get from us. Now we get a lot of questions about sort of, you know, which tool should I use? I know Run Sign Up has a registration platform, it has a ticket platform, you know, what's the difference? And we're gonna give you some examples of what, what the difference is between registration and tickets. So for registrations, um, participants register. There's a lot of information collection for each participant. It requires multiple interactions like waivers, participant management, and results. You need participants to have their own accounts to manage those, those things in the event. And also if you want to include peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, which only exists in our registration tool, and also if you want to have people in teams. But if it's a simpler thing um, where attendees are just buying tickets, our ticket tool is easier and simpler than the registration tool in that way. There's less information needed for just to purchase a ticket. You can do bulk purchases of tickets really quickly. There's no account required to manage those tickets. You can do donations only. You don't have to include team participation. And you can group tickets to simplify display when an event offers complex options such as multiple day and multiple time slot. We've even got a great calendar tool that just dropped, which is really awesome for those multi-day events. Some traditional ticket events we see include festivals, music concerts, golf tournaments, galas, luncheons, dinners, conventions. We're seeing a lot more holiday light shows on our platform and Halloween events and corn mazes. We've also got cornhole tournaments and wine tastings. Some out-of-the-box things we've seen, we've got, we've got a great voting tool, so with people voting on pet names and using that as a way to fundraise. People doing scavenger hunts, virtual cooking classes, oyster roasts and seafood broils, um, <laughs> pie eating contests, my personal favorite, fashion shows, barbecue fests, monster truck meetups. That's actually Elizabeth's favorite, is the monster truck. Yeah, you wouldn't have guessed it <laughs> You wouldn't me, have but. guessed it, she loves those monster trucks. <laughs> Um, and Pickle Fest, so lots of cool uh, out-of-the-box things uh, that you can do using the ticket tool. And now I think Elizabeth is going to show you guys a little bit of a setup. So we are going to set up Chris's Napping Valley Golf Tournament. Yeah. Um, <laughs> not a real event. Not a real event, and it's for an organization that also does not exist. So the Napping Valley Golf Tournament in honor of the Philadelphia Theater Collective. Uh, which is not real. So if they come to your door asking for money, uh, that's me trying to pay off my student loans, and I urge you not to fall for it. Uh, unless you want to. I mean, hop in there. <laughs> <laughs> I am on ticketsignup.io, and I clicked Get Started Free. It'll take you into our wizard. This is a simple wizard. It only takes, well, it takes me about five minutes, but I'm right. really fast. Um, <laughs> so it would take the average person maybe eight minutes to set up this kind of an event, would right. you say? Yeah, Kay. that's fair. I'm going to enter our event name first. It's going to ask you if your organization is a nonprofit. Um, in this case, it is. It's Chris's Student Loan Fund. It's my, it's my student loan nonprofit. Um, um, we'll ask very for your work. event type, <laughs> <laughs> your event date and time. I'm just going to go. Yeah, I have some built in here if you want to pull from that, but you, you don't, you know. Oh, that was pretty cool. But yeah, that's the nice thing too, is once you sort of have the basic information down, I always suggest you know, having that written out as you're going in, and that way it, it really is a seamless process. If you have like the dates, the times, the price points, if you're doing, for instance, you know, a price bump, you know, you're able to include the exact timing of that um, 
using our registration date tool so you can really uh, maximize the amount of money you make by giving people the ability to buy early. Yeah, and it does it automatically for you so you don't have to right. go in and update it yourself unless you need to. Um, little pro tip, if you put in your zip code first, it'll fill in the city and the state for you. I'm going to set our event to private, mm -hmm. and I'm going to change this to 45, because we've probably set up this event that many times. A few amount of times. Yeah, yeah we have, we've yeah. definitely set it up. Several many times, yes. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to turn on donations for our event, um, yeah. and I'm going to raise $20,000, I think that sounds like Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Yeah. Um, you can upload your event um, donation logo here. I don't have one ready, so I'm just going to skip it, but I can come back to it later. Yeah. <laughs> Elizabeth wrote in, please donate, Chris needs it, and she's not wrong. I mean, that's <laughs> nice of you to, to really support a friend, I appreciate that. Um. <laughs> I'm going to adjust some of our default donation levels because I'm trying to be realistic here. So I'm going to do our default $10, um, I'm going to do $25, $75, and $100. But we give you those defaults so you can just move on through. If and what, what I always like you. too is you can also name each of those levels, and so because this is a... Right. A, um, a fundraiser for a theater. I've all the names of the levels are sort of theater inspired. So you've got patron, fan, supporter, um, show sponsor. But for whatever event you're doing, you can really um, specify and make it fun in that way. I just filled out some basic questions at the bottom on event history. Those are just for us so that we understand your event. And then I'm going to check off on the contract, create our event. So the next step is setting up your tickets. Um, in this case, we have... It's below that. Thank yeah. you. Yeah. Yeah, we got three sets of tickets for this event. We've got individual tea times, team tea times, and then we're also doing sponsorships through the ticket path. Um, and we're going to set up them simply first through the wizard, and then if there's time, we'll also show how you can turn them into an advanced ticket uh, by adding ticket times for each day. Yeah, I'm going through and adding all three first. These are going to become our ticket groups. Um, yeah. So I'm not entering the specific tickets that we're going to be offering. I'm actually just entering what will end up being the name of our group. Yeah. Um, pro tip. For yeah, pro you. tip. Best practice is to enter what will eventually become your ticket groups as those separate tickets in the wizard to start. Um, with that said, you do have to enter a ticket price here, so I'm just entering one of the prices that we'll have, and then I can adjust that later on the back end. And I'm going to close this on the day of the event, because mm -hmm. you can actually sell tickets on site That's using right. an update to our check-in app. It's very exciting. So we can accept transactions to this golf tournament That's right. as people check in that morning. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to add Chris's payment account because, mm -hmm. again, this is all going back all to Chris. All for me yeah. and my student loans. I can't stress that enough. Uh, and it's not. Well, don't worry. We're not, we're not doing that, I promise. <laughs> and I'm done. If that you was so fast. So much, <laughs> we would think, yeah, if I hadn't, if I hadn't you know, gone on so long about you know, that, uh, we would have we been done so much sooner. That's fabulous. Look how quick that is. I'm going to go to the dashboard. And now I'm going to turn on ticket groups because... Like I said, we have a bunch of different categories of tickets, so we need advanced tickets to accomplish what we're trying to do. So I'm going to turn on advanced tickets under tickets and then advanced tickets. So I've enabled that, and now you have to just go in and rename the ticket groups to what you want them to be. So in this case, tea times Yeah. will be tea times. And you can set dates on the ticket groups. If you're going to use the calendar component or if you have a multi-day event in general, I recommend setting those dates. For this kind of a thing, I don't really need dates because it's all in one day anyway, so all the ticket groups are using the default event date. But this is something good to do if you are a multi-day event. Mm -hmm. and yeah, so she's she's turning on the three ticket groups, which are tea times, as I mentioned, um, team tea times, and then sponsorships. Now, for tea times and team tea times, we're adding in. You, I know it's going to sound crazy, but we're adding in tea times. Um, so you, we're going to give you each. Uh, we're going to have a registration uh, ticket for eight o'clock, eight thirty, nine o'clock, nine thirty. So you can separate out the groups, um, uh, which is often needed for for these sort of golf type events. Yeah. 
it'll give you a tile for each group and then all the tickets you set up within that tile um, will show on the website under that group so right very easy for your ticket purchasers to find so yeah you can walk through <laughs> <laughs> Never a dull moment here at the Run Sign Up Ticket Sign Up Symposium. Uh, it's very good. Uh, lots of friends coming through. I'm going to rename our first ticket. So I, I was done reorganizing my groups. I went over to, to the ticket setup page. So now I'm going to set up my actual tickets. I'm just going to do the 9 a.m. and the Great. 10 a.m. Perfect, yeah. Yeah, for these purposes, we're just going to do a couple times. We don't but need to imagine you had a bunch of different times that you had people teeing off. You could set them all off up here so that people can select what time they want to show up and tee off um, so that you have less people showing up all at one time. Right. Or for a multi-day event, that would be how you would set it up if you have timed entry going yeah. on. And we've begun working with a lot of multi-day sort of like sometimes haunt events, mazes, holiday light shows. And for them, we found that this multi-day um, the ability to do multiple times is really helpful. And also the ability to have those people who have signed up be able to transfer their own tickets to a different time. So it's not such a hassle for you as the event director. Mm -hmm. OK, I set up the team tea times for team 9 AM and team 10 AM. And now I'm just going to set up a couple of sponsorships. I'm going to do gold and silver. Yeah, gold and silver sponsorship, I love that. Okay, and then the last thing that I need to do for these tickets is I do have to set a price on them because I just set them up here and that's on a different screen. So I'm going to go to tickets and then pricing and then click into each of the groups and set the price for the ticket. The purchase period is already pulled because I set that up in the wizard. So it's really just updating that price. And once you, once you sort of learn the, the, the way these things work, it really can be so quick. I mean, this has taken all of maybe 10 minutes at most for us to set up this event. And, um, you know, the more you use it, the, more, the easier it gets, uh, which is wonderful. And I always like to say this, too. If you're interested to try out our tools, but, you know, you're a little he hesitant, um, because we only charge money when there's a transaction, you can try it out for free and do an event that doesn't cost anything or an event that you keep in draft mode and just play around with those tools and see if they work for you. Yeah. Um, and if you set something up, you'll get Chris or me or somebody yeah. reaching out to you, and then you'll have somebody else to talk to. So. Right. Yeah, we're happy to help make sure that your event is flowing the right way and also spitball ideas and just, you know, be there as general support. Therapy? Therapy, yeah. That costs a little extra. <laughs> that there's a copay when therapy is concerned. But other than that, it's free. Yeah. <laughs> I changed our event banner image to a golf one because I didn't initially select that we were a golf event. So oh, now great. here's our website. So we've got our tea times, our team tea times, and our sponsorships and the different options with each of those. And then we also have some new options coming for these tiles on how they are configured and how they look. So yeah. stay tuned for that. Yeah. But there's your ticket sign up 101. We've set up a golf event in all of 10 minutes and uh, thanks for joining us. <laughs> and <laughs> You know, I just occurred to me, you should like and subscribe. You're already on our channel, so smash that like button, smash that subscribe button, and get all the updates that come through from Run Sign Up, Ticket Sign Up, and Gift Sign Up. Mm -hmm.